Hi everyone, welcome back to First Code Academy. And today we're gonna to take a look at part two of our five part video series on how to build a city in Roblox Studio. I hope you enjoy it. In today's video, we're gonna take a look on how to use the terrain editor to build a simple park, how to use the different brushes, how to edit the type of terrain that we want, and what are the different parts of the terrain editor for. By building this park and adding some simple uh, accessories to it, we'll be giving our city a more lively environment. So last week, we left on the couple of buildings that we built as a sample of how to implement buildings into our city. For this week, across this street, I'm going to build a sample park to show you how to edit the terrain in Roblox Studio. First of all, I'll define the area of my park or the size of my park. I'll add a new block on top of the block that I already have. And I'm going to, to choose the grass material because I want the, the block to be the park area. I'll do a dark green one perhaps. And I'll click here to insert a square block. I'll use the scale tool as here to define the size of the park. I'll probably have it around here. Remember, I'm going to leave some space to add the streets in a later video. We're gonna do it up like this, and maybe here. Maybe for the street size, I'll leave some extra space. Better if to have more space and to lack space and then have to change everything after. Now, the reason I put this, uh, I put this block first, is because we want to have some set some sort of starting point for the rest of the terrain to build upon from. Uh, it doesn't matter if the color doesn't match what the grass will be, we can always change the color over here. Uh, but the important thing is that it doesn't look awkward if terrain, if like mountains or water is just coming out of the concrete area. It just doesn't look natural enough. And because it's a city, we don't want the entire thing to be made out of grass. We just want a little section. That's why I put the grass over here. Now, I'm just going to make sure it doesn't pop out of the map, maybe like here. Uh, later on, you might want to delete the base plate, but if it doesn't affect you, then you can just leave it there. Here I can see that there is a little bit of concrete. I'm gonna make it like as the edge of the map on this part of the, of the area. And since, remember, if you want something not to move, you have to anchor it. So I'm gonna anchor it here. Let me see if I anchor this one as well before. I think I even locked it in. Yeah, this one. Oh, it's anchored already. Okay. Oh, I was selecting this part while I was editing the properties for this block over here. So I mistakenly changed the material of the roof of this one. So now that we are in this area over here, in your home area of Roblox Studio, you see that we have the uh, toolbox opened and the terrain editor. You can toggle them off and on by clicking these two icons over here on the top area. I use the toolbox to insert accessories for the park and I'll use the terrain editor to add different types of terrain. First of all, I'm going to use the add and subtract brushes. Okay, these brushes will raise the level of our map to a given, like a given standard that we give to it. Um, how big, it really depends on your settings over here. So I'm gonna make the toolbox smaller for now because I don't really need it. Okay. Uh, the pivot position just changes how it grows from the base. I find that it's not really necessary to change it from the bot, which is the uh, basic setting. The base size is how big you want the terrain to start growing. So if you see here, I click it and it starts growing from the bottom. Uh, I believe I was using center before, yes. You can use center and the bigger the brush size, the bigger it's going to be the, <laughs> the mountain you're building. Uh, you can use the square shape to raise it uniformly like this 
Remember, you click it once and then it'll, it'll keep growing from what you already have. Sometimes it glitches out a little bit depending on, on your computer. We can you always make some small adjustments. If you make a mistake, you can hit Command Z or, com or Control Z in Windows to change it again. For example, here, I can join, join this little hill. Um, what I'm going to do now, well, I'm going to use top now. Top means that whenever you, the top of the shape will be attached to wherever you put it here. So it's going to give you a more stuck to the base of the of the plate feel, you know. Uh, it's not going to grow as dramatically as the other two. With bot, your terrain is going to grow in like very fast. You can change the view so you can see it from above. Make sure you cover all the area. Uh, as you see here, I definitely selected the green that is too dark. So I can also change it back to a little bit lighter, maybe around here, maybe it's a bit darker. So how do I change this terrain over here, for example? Well, I can change it. I here have grass selected, and I can change between different materials. I'm going to change back to this, and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. As you see here, this one gives a more natural effect to the area. I'm using the second grass base more as a not really that I'm leaving this as a grass, but I'm using it to know what's the shape going to be approximately. So that I can just delete it later if I don't need it anymore. So this is like the ground of the park. And I'm going to use the round tool. Maybe I can make it a little bit bigger over here to make a little bit of a hill. Now, once I fill it up, I can use center, maybe reduce the size of this. And I can build a hill in, in the middle. If you try to put it using center or bottom again on top of it, it will build it over what you already have as a terrain. So if you want to make it more even level, try to click and drag it. So it drags the entire terrain in the same fashion as what you were doing before. Now, uh, the other two controls, snap to grid, it basically means is that if you see there's a white grid over here, it sometimes changes angle depending on the size of the of the brush you're using. If the brush is too big, then maybe it won't, but I noticed that if you put a little, a very small one, it sometimes changes the angle. It also depends on your camera. Like here, it's already inclined, so if you put it here, it will try to build it in a diagonal fashion like this. Now, <laughs> I don't really want to stick like that of randomness, so I will just delete it. But if you want to implement it like that, that's that's what this one means. Now, and what I'm going to do now is going to fix this hill so it looks a little bit more natural. You, you can use the smooth tools as here to as the main name says, like smoothen out the surface so it doesn't make the drop that big. You can just like shift it around here. I don't think we need it there. But here. Sometimes your terrain might be a little bit rough. So you can use this tool to even it even it out. Okay. You can also use the erode tool to make it sink a little bit that's what erode means erode means taking like uh like rocks erode they get smaller in size as time goes by because of water and other tools so in the terrain context it means making the terrain smaller from what you already have it's different from subtract because subtract will take away the entire chunk we wouldn't want that we just wanted to erode the opposite of grow so For some reason, I'm doing it too, too heavily. So I'll just try to moderate my clicks so the heel doesn't like look too ugly. The important thing is that the level is correct because later on, I can just use the 
smooth tool to make it look a little bit more natural. If you want to as well, you can just paint with a different terrain if, instead of just using the, if you already have some terrain, you can just paint it here. So, well, I can use the water tool to turn everything into water that is in that part of the map. Now, water is a little bit more tricky. I'm gonna use it with top because it will delete, basically delete water you already have. So you might want to grow the terrain first, for example, here. If I want like a lake there, and then I'm going to paint it with water. So you see this way, I make a like a little container for my lake. Now, of course, this one looks kind of weird. If you take a look very close to it, it might look a little bit weird, but I know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put it here and all this like green will disappear once I delete the part that I was using to build this one, uh, this park. So I believe it was the last one. If I just delete this part, you see that it looks a little bit more natural. However, because the water is, I believe, too, not too deep, <laughs> maybe if I increase the size of this and I change it to top, there it is, okay? Now I turn everything below it into water. And even if I scroll down a little bit, you'll see that the container for it also grew. Just the part where it's water became a lot bigger. Well, because I turned all of this into water, so it looks from the top as if you can go inside and swim. So I have my little lake, I have my little hill. And now I can just finish it up by adding some trees. For example, here, I, I'll add a couple of pine trees. And I just duplicate the same one so I can use it in multiple of them. Every time I create control D to duplicate, that's what I'm doing, command D or control D to duplicate. Uh, it's going to appear in the same place because I'm using collisions off. Now I'm going to anchor all of these so they don't fall down. Once I anchor one like this one, if I duplicate it, the one I move, the clone is also going to be anchored. And another good thing is that they adjust to the terrain. So they all, if the terrain is flipped, they'll flip as well. And what is a park without a bench? So I'll just add a bench now. Usually the parts that have like uh, orange, is there a little bit more complex than normal ones? Oh, and even if you want, you can also with the same terrain editor, add a little like a road. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to use the paint tool. I'm going to use the replace tool maybe. Uh, as a brush, I'm going to replace whatever I'm touching. Uh, source material, grass, replace with asphalt. So whatever touches the brush, you see, is going to become asphalt. Uh, I'm going to make a smaller brush, maybe like three. You can always optimize and make this a little bit prettier. This is a quick tutorial, so I'm just going to do the basics part. And this is pretty much how it will look like. By using the flatten tool, you'll make uh, the surfaces less, basically like when you have a bunch of dough and you push it down, it's just going to grow into the sides. That's what the flatten tool will do. And that's pretty much for all the tools that are mostly useful sea level just indicates where the water will naturally be now this one i don't really have much use unless you want to build like a huge sea for the entire map but since this is a city out we don't need to see exactly right now we're just gonna put a little lake over there and that's it now i'm gonna play it to test it out
And we can see we can have we have the park. I made the pine trees maybe a little bit too short. But that's okay. Maybe they're like baby pine trees. And the water, now this water, the only problem is that it's just the effect of being water. Uh, it's not really like a swimming property. It's it's like if grass was made out of water, you know. But it's mostly for the visual effect. And we have the park over here, park bench. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And come back next week for more videos on many different topics. Goodbye.